Hi, for those who are clicking in on the first time, this is the Hero's Journey with Dr. D, here to encourage, to inspire, to motivate, and educate, helping you get beyond your first move and creating a better mindset today. If you find any value in this content, go ahead. Help me help you so we can help others by liking, by clicking the thumbs up and sharing. What you do is you join with me and climb with me as we try to make a better tomorrow today. And currently what we do, we upload a fresh video every week, once a week. And we do a live stream on Wednesdays and a replay with a live chat on Thursday. And also you can click down below and we cover all the major podcasts and click the link and find your podcast so you can listen while you drive to and from work. Now enjoy the video. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, uh, I'm back, I'm back. Hey, Journey, men, Journey, women, this is Hero's Journey with Dr. D. <laughs> but nothing once it stopped. <laughs> you can't hear me now? You got to be able to hear me. Come on, you got to be able to hear me. Come somebody, y'all can hear me. I know you hear me. Come on, somebody. Anybody. Yes, give me thumbs up. I know you hear the music, but I know you hear me now. All right, all right. Hey, Journey, men, Journey. Ah, women, this is a Hero's Journey with Dr. D. Delay but not deny. Okay, cool, cool. Delay but not deny. And sweating but soon to be dry. It is one of those days. <laughs> ah! All right. All right. Journey, man, journey, man, journey, women. This is Hero Journey with Dr. D here to encourage and motivate to inspire. To educate, helping you get beyond your first move and creating better mindset today. Yes, yes, yes. Today, today, today. Sound effects, sound effects. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me some claps, claps, clap, clap, clap. Applause, applause, applause. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. Come on, somebody. Anybody. Nobody. He said, Dr. D, you, you, even. Now, Phil was on here said, what you been drinking in that cup? Well, I, I ain't drank no, nothing in the cup yet. All right. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I like that. Okay. All uh, um, uh, right. Who is that talking to me? I'm still here. Oh, that's Doc. Doc talk. All right. So, check it out. Today, today we're gonna to do a, a repeat update. This is my fourth one. But I got one more left. And when we talk about updating, um, when we talk about uprooting, <sighs> yeah, boys and girls, some of the All right. So we talk about cleaning up the mental mess and to clean up the mental mess and slash uprooting the weeds without killing um, the grass. And that's very at hand because um, just because the weeds are not wanted, the grass is cherished because you're laboring more time. So my update is pretty much continuation on what we talked about. And then I welcome any, and I'm going to start it off by putting my link in the, uh, in the chat line chat line so it's right here all right put this link to chat so when i open up your q a you want to come in you can just click on click on see what the end gonna be all right so like i was saying before i was talking i was talking about updating uprooting the weeds and without killing grass and, and i think um that little revelation i was talking to you last week is that and it's not just you want to kill all the weeds in your grass because you invested time in the grass. But then if you look at it, after you put your grass, you have produce, you have flowers, tulips, you know, ones who are pretty have, to have that green thumb that want to, wants everything to look good. Um, for the, you, you just want to be proud of what you've done, especially when you invest the time. And you invest the time, nobody wants the time to be wasted, right? So you invest the time, but then you see weeds and the cantankerous weeds don't go away. And this is not a one-two 
punch thing it's a gradual thing because you have to observe and see how the weeds can be detracted from the things that hold that you hold close and tender and that's where the reflection comes the observation comes and even the listening now we talked before most of the listening is not done by hearing the words but mostly by looking at the actions and seeing the patterns because roughly around 70 percent of communication is body language 20 20 some odd percent is is tone and then roughly seven percent is is what you say so listening takes more than the ear let's just say that so with that being said um the grass the grass always looks green on the other side because a lot of times it's not real it's not real to you because it's not your grass a lot of times we invest a whole bunch of time in our stuff but sometimes we don't invest the time that's it we don't invest time in our grass we do a little bit and then we see somebody else's grass and sometimes we get the Jones's own syndrome and we want to mm, and you stop blaming your 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 mate or the person who's in control of the grass and try to say why, why can't your stuff look better like he is but you don't know his his methods you don't know what he went through you don't know what he used you just see the product and isn't that the truth in a lot of people's lives uh, situations they see the other people's end product but they don't know what they've been through they don't know their story they like to finish but they don't like to process who does <laughs> who does who do I like to process I'm some process harder than others I mean you can't so that's not a yeah, but but true man a lot of people just look at people's process they don't look at the process they look at the end product and they envy the end product but they're not willing to put the time in they want to they complain about oh man they complain about everything else but what matters everything else but what, but what matters I'm trying to get some water y'all I mean so much I'm talking about weeds so I'm gonna I'm cut that short <laughs> so we can open up for Q&A my update is um, wait for it wait for it wait for it um, my update is guess I got one more section of uprooting weeds one more one more but the whole video was like 25 minutes I think so I just broke it down and the, the issue is that it takes editing and the editing takes time so I hope y'all enjoyed my last rendition of my edited version about five minutes of uh, uh, uprooting the weeds. Um, might be the end. You'll like the end. I end it off next week. All right. All right. That's my update. Pa, 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 pa. That's my update. And not, okay, enough of that. 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 You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. You have. You shouldn't have. All right. So now who we're going to go to the q and A's. So I got the chat line on the side. So first we do. Nobody seems to F once. You know, I haven't really uh, uploaded any new uh, podcast. So I, I get that. That's why I don't get any audios right now. I'm going to get on it though. Got some stuff going on. I have to work out. So I'm gonna get on. So I make it my point this week to upload a couple of my podcasts uh, about uprooting the weeds. So y'all can call in the podcast and leave an audio, and now I can play the audio on the video. Uh, and and uh, uh, so because that's the goal. The goal is to do the audio first, then do the chat, and then open up for the lives. All right. Okay. So. All right. So who gonna help me? Who gonna come on for me? Who gonna come on for me? All right, I'm putting these on. I like my round. I like that. All right, talk to myself, man. Duh. I'm used to that. Oh, I'm used to that. Here we go.
Bye bye. All right. I'm looking to chat. They feel they follow. <laughs> I put something in for me. I'll be right back. Ah! Hey, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. What it is. I just like to, I like to be, and I want to move my feet. I want to do my walk, and if you don't like it, you can step. But you know, one, two, I want to move my feet. I want to do my walk. I want to do my feet. Well, you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's ask the question. <laughs> okay. Hey, Doc, give me three reasons, three things. Uh, that I can do to screen clean my mental mess. Psychiatrist. <laughs> Psychiatrist. Three syllables. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Uh, <laughs> I, can, I can resist. Three things. Uh, first, you can. Um, then think about it. So, Stop thinking, listen. Stop. No, stop listening. Thing. I think that's um, three things that you can do when you're trying to um, remove your mental mess. The reason why. Uh, <laughs> I see you. the reason why um, a lot of mental mess is not um... <laughs> you funny let me see your name um, the reason why a lot of well, let me see let me see are you coming I'm gonna stop well Okay, the reason why you um, um, a lot of people don't have don't don't actually um, remove anything because they don't stop. They're busy. They triple multi multi platinum tasking, um, and nothing's wrong with doing that when you're doing the activity. But sometimes you need to when things are getting too colluded and, and as wise as you get it before it gets too crowded, and stop, think, and then listen. Go to YouTube. Um, all right. So what you do is just stop, think, and then listen. And what happens is that people don't take time to stop. And they definitely don't think. Because if you stop, you think about what you're listening. You think about, you're listening about, you're listening to what you're thinking about. But in order to listen to what you're thinking about, you need to have the capacity and the ability to stop and focus and just really think and process what's coming in and how you're reacting from what's coming in. So that's how you, that's first where you start. All right. So what you say? Stop. That is vodka in that cup. That's why you dance. <laughs> See the difference between me and you feel I don't need vodka to make me want to dance. I, I dance because I had joy. Joy unspeakable. Full of glory. Alright. Oh, Tito gave a good one. Tito said that uh, if um you listen for understanding. 
Yeah, you look. Yeah, you listen. Understand it because a lot of stuff is happening. We don't. It's. Uh, it's it take. You need to really stop to listen because so many things are coming in in the airways and the frequencies. It, all the, so much stuff is coming in. You you really need to take time to stop and you have to assess what's good for you, what's not. Uh, 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 what's was um was meat and was bones was protein was mess you know it's you have to focus you have to stop and think about what you're thinking about and as you have to stop and think about what you're thinking about but what's coming into your mind and developing the thoughts so you have control over that All right Ah, this is the difference uh, in, in hearing and listening. I agree. <laughs> I yeah, I I can hear four or five things at one time. Don't mean I, I understand. How I comprehend what I heard, especially when you listen to different tunes and different music. You hear me, a lot of times you hear music, but do you know the the slight nuances? In the fluctuation of the beats and the modes of vibrato, or you got bass, a low tone, or a high tone, or a middle tone. That's when you have to listen. That's good. Anybody in the back room? Come on, somebody. Somebody come on for me. Let me see. Now you gonna come on? Let's see. Uh, let me see who's on. Hey, you on? Anybody on? Let me see. Uh, let me go down. Well, give me some questions, though. Give me some questions. I'm on the on, on the chat there. Hold on a second. It gotta be here. You said use an analogy of, of the weeds. Let me see. Yes, it is. Let me. All right. I'll post it again. I will post it. Got somebody trying to come on, y'all. I'll post it again. All right. Invite guests, copy link. It's there now. Okay, let me go back to question. What you got? Um, uh, okay, I gotta move up here. All right, I got you. Okay, I lost you. Let me see. Okay, using all right, using an analogy of the weeds. How do I pull up the weeds and prevent them from coming back? Carefully. Every. Every weed is different. You know your soil. And if you don't know your soil, then you need you need to get on the grind. Because every weed is different. You know, your weed is not different, not the same as mine. Mine's not the same as yours. So that's why you need to care. You have to need to go carefully analyze what's bringing the weeds on and actually how you can actually carefully pull the weed from the center 
without damaging your your grass. All right. <laughs> I will, but that means I will put. I have to put on clothes. What? That is blocking the. <laughs> I don't know what who's responding to what. Uh, Tito, I work from home. I hate coming on camera for work. That means I have to shave. <laughs> shave and comb my hair. Phil, you ain't got, you got no hair. Tito said you got to put some clothes on. I'm about to bring Renee on. Renee, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Doing this again, now. Let me see. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. I got it in now. Mm. Now he got the plug in. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. So yeah, I saw the monster kid. That's um, yeah. All right, the monster kid fun. The second part of the sermon. Oh, the second part. <laughs> Was it hard to hear? Okay, look. Uh, let me see. If you look, if if you look at the video, whoever on him, if you look at the video on television, yeah, it's gonna be hard to hear. But if you saw on the computer or your phone. You can hear perfectly because it's hard to hear me when i tried to put on my television as well was that the case paul uh here you too doc can you uh i'm jump okay nobody it's uh five minutes okay the second part of the sermon you funny the teacher said second part of the sermon the monster kid was funny no sound. No sound. You can hear me, right? Renee, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. No, that was a, a crack to me. I look at your videos on TV. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Renee, feel, when I was saying that the videos was bad on television, you couldn't comprehend that one. Phil said that was a crack to him. Because he look at all the videos on television. <laughs> Wait, Adam. He look at which videos on television? The you last... mean he used a television instead of a computer? Well, yeah, he used, he used, the, um, used the, 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 yeah, the television, like, the, like smart TV. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. he used that. He said, but, um, but I... Now I can't hear you. You turned the sound on. Okay, now you're back. Now you're back. No, I know when the volume's really low though. Can you turn the volume up? It was loud before. The volume was fine before. Now it's low. It's low? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. How's it how's it The how's same. It? Still low. Still low? Still A little low. better. All right. Hello? Okay, yeah. It was loud before. What'd you do? Uh, I messed with this button and it came out. Uh, okay. Um, no. No, Paula said something. I said uh, it was when the, it's on the television. So my television, it don't sound good. Um, but when it's um, but, but, but when it's on, on the computer or my phone, it sounds better. <laughs> you say you're trying to read my lips because there's no sound. It sounds now, right? Uh, I mean, I can hear you. No, he can hear me now, but I know before nobody can hear me. Yeah. Yeah, nobody can hear me because it went off. I'm at the core, okay, the same, see what happened. 
I apologize. No, I was on laptop. Let's be. How do you get out of? Hold on. Try get these chats. All right. All right. I was on that. How do you get? <laughs> Writing. Yeah, read, read. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't think I need my reading glasses for that. Wow, <laughs> Let's see. Really? Let's see what that says. That says. Oh yeah, that's too. I, I, I can read it if I put on my reading glasses, but that's too small with my naked eyes. I'm trying to really. That's small. Let me see if I push it out. Uh, right there. It says no. Yeah, I need my reading glasses. All right, it says no, no. no I was on la on laptop, Dr. D. How do you get out of the weeds when they're beyond your control? All the issues in my life are issues I can't control. What you think, Renee? Well, uh, obviously, I'm not uh, trained in the area of the mental as you are but i'm a christian and i don't know if the person is a christian um, the bible says that the more we see the glory of the lord um the more the holy spirit transforms us into the his image and we know that god does not have any uh, mental struggles any addictions uh any uh low self-esteem you know any any negative things he struggles with so the more i become like god then internally in my heart the things that are like god will grow like love joy peace temperance and things that are not like god will uh diminish okay so i think the yeah assume the person is not uh, not a christian okay now if they're not a christian then I'll send them to you. <laughs> I'll go to the I know, I know, the, I know what the Bible teaches them. If okay, they're not, if they're not a Christian, I, my suggestion is become a Christian. <laughs> oh. but, 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 even, but even if you become a Christian, does that necessarily mean everything goes away? Because no, I, because you know, I mean, it's that, it's a process. You know, right, it's, right, the, because, it's go ahead. Because even, even. Uh, even coming to Christ doesn't mean that your mental illness evaporates. Your chemical imbalance just uh, uh, stabilizes. It doesn't necessarily mean that all your issues uh, are erased. I mean, you you may get um, euphoria. You 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 feel you may feel uh, you may feel that okay. You know that you got um, closure with God on the other side. But he said, Lord, I need help on this side because I don't know what to do with this, this situation or how to deal with the situation. Mean that if I if I get I've had issues for 20, 30 years with with my siblings and I get I became a Christian. And really the issues uh, what I can do is say I forgive you. I mean, really that to me that's the root of everything. Whether you're Christian or not a Christian, because what happens is that you release something. Because uh, unforgiveness does, does nothing but, but builds up uh, darkness in you. Um, and a lot of people even do the practical things. I mean, you're right. You come to Christ, but then people say, I came to Christ, but then what? Because I think what happens is that people don't teach. Remember, Pastor Locke said, practical applications in life, family, and work. So, because you'll come to person, it's like, you need to become a Christian. I'm hungry. Believe God for some food. <laughs> yeah, but well, I, I think that's um, people. Uh, that perspective is. Um, I'm not sure if the words elongate in an elongated perspective, but I think what the Bible prescribes is as you continuously behold the glory of the Lord, the Holy Spirit transforms you more and more. To, so. What the Bible prescribes for Christians are 
to be Christ-centered and gospel-centered. And as you're doing that, the Holy Spirit is growing you internally from your heart. And what will happen is internally you'll match more and more like God, and then externally your life will match. So it's not an event. It's not like, you know, I run around the church screaming, I have an emotional experience, and now I'm good. No, it's right. a lifestyle. It's kind of like a married couple continuously spending time together and getting to know each other. But I think what the Bible prescribes for Christians is the more I see Jesus, the greater the revelation of Jesus I get, the greater the change I experience from the inside out. And what will happen is the things in you that are not like God, like addictions, um, emotional distress, unforgiveness, as you continuously behold the glory of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, you'll find that, you know, sexual uh, um, uh, uh, appetites, all those things, they will come into bound. Now, it's a lifestyle of doing that. Yeah. It's not like, but, you hold know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you're going off. You, yeah, you're going, um, right. But listen to this. You, you got to read the comments. And you come from, <laughs> Why are you speaking? Oh, oh. That's a skill in itself. Read the comments. Wait, go ahead. No, go yeah, ahead. <laughs> Because Paul said, is saying that, listen, because Paul said, I'm a Christian. She's a Christian. And it's like um, health issues are hard to deal with, uh, deal with when they limit your life. So when, then that's why I said when it's, um, it's a practical element too as well. And um, But you know what? That That is practical. I think what people, I think because of Christian leadership over maybe the thing? last, huh? You read everything she wrote, did you? I'm, I'm trying to read everything. She wrote. I, I, I probably, I probably, I, I need to go get my reading glasses. So that's way <laughs> well, too. I'm, I'm, I'm that, that's like this small I'm for me. I'm oh, okay, it. go ahead. I read it. Okay, I can get my reading glasses now. Go ahead. Pow! You see, that, I mean, that probably looks scary, don't it? Like, <laughs> like that looks real scary, don't it? See, this like, is normally how my eyes. Are. I have small eyes, so normally my eyes are just like this. But for yeah. me to read that, oh my goodness! Yeah, like that, like like a predator. Yeah, <laughs> I should. Like, like, I should. Like, that's like scary me. Like you're looking at nursery. Yeah, I'm looking at my nursery. Yeah, like it's like you're looking at like, nursery. Yeah, hey there, little boy. Hey, what? <laughs> you want some candy? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's just. Let me get my reading class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good to because I can't see it at all. It's a, it's a, it looks like I got a white van. I'm driving around in a white van, right? Sure do. What's it? <laughs> and, and, and Paul, I'm going to respond to Paula. So Paula says, okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Paula, okay, you hear me. So Paul said, me and God are good. Me and my B are unable to find you handle the actual living responsibilities. Um, and then, um, that's what Phil said. Um, Jesus ain't paying my bills. That's Paul. Paul Jesus ain't paying my bills, and that's true. That's true. No, you 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 pay your own bills, but what I'm trying to what I'm saying is, you, yeah. You, but you, you, I I know what you're saying, but you go on a tangent. You go on a tangent. Okay. The, the, um, me <laughs> me like, and God are good. Me and being unable to financially handle the actual living responsibilities. Because okay, I can read it now. I think because, because the truth, she's doing. We do the best we can with what we have, and and that she she is doing the best she can with what she has, and then she, what she's talking, about, I think what she's talking about is for the most part, thing that you know even Paul said he said Lord take take this thing away from me, and he didn't take mm -hmm. it away from him. It still didn't it still didn't mean that he didn't hurt. <laughs> he still he 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 went on, and knowing Paula, she still goes on, but then even by going on. Of how do I still cope with things that I did not know how to cope with? So it's not even, it's not sometimes not even the spiritual thing, it's emotional thing. I mean, that how, how do you, yeah, but, but I think the spiritual thing is even greater. Most of our issues start in the spirit, but we are the spirit, and, and it no manifests in the, in, the, in the natural. So, but, but yeah, I know you said, but most, most part, we're spiritual beings, uh, have a physical, uh, physical vacation for the most part. I mean, so when people say it's spirit, everything's spiritual. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it very practically ain't spiritual, really. I mean, so, and but it's right. It's being in tune with who you are, who you are, and where you are, and mm -hmm. and what's happening, and how you respond to the thing. So not um. Let's finish doing um. 
Paul is uh, I, w- I wish these chats could be audio. They could if y'all just tap on and just y'all ain't show y'all face, just play the audio. I would love that. That's right. You can turn the camera off. You turn you turn the camera off. So I ask y'all come yeah. on. Now I gotta show your face. Y'all can put Daffy Duck up there. Oh really? <laughs> Oh, why didn't you say that? I'm turning this camera off. I mean, uh, Phil used to have the bobbleheads, but uh, he, he feels like R. Kelly. He just stuck him in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just fed Phil. I just fed Phil. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Paul said, he's a witherless man, not without my arms and ability to work, right? Okay. I think we addressed that right there. Control. Paul was like, because of a spiritual will not pay your property tax or fuel. Uh, yeah, but okay, listen. Oh, no, oh, oh, it, oh, it oh, won't. Oh, oh. She coming on. <laughs> All right. She, she doesn't know how to turn the camera around anyway. So. It's all right. We hear your voice. <laughs> there, you can look right. in the mirror over there. Can, 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 can you hear Paul? <laughs> Get, get center. Uh, so, uh, you don't have to, Paul, you don't got to get center. But... Who, who, who's that in the mirror? It's That's the man in the mirror. Ma- like, Michael I'm Jackson. Yeah. Who's that, who's that Who's that? little oh. girl standing in the mirror? Ain't standing. I'm in my bed across the room from the mirror. No, I'm saying, I, I, see, I see a little girl with a black wig on. Who's that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, um, Renee, get center of the camera. <laughs> I, I, I'm not center. No, you, you, you're not center. Yeah, you're not yet. Yeah, you center now. Okay. You got your glasses on, Lord. You can't see. Um. Uh, okay. I, I look center to me, but you're saying I'm not. Okay. No, you you good now. You okay. Center, you, you center now. So. Okay. Uh, so. So what you were saying? Paul, I read now we have arms and ability. Now, Paul, I read all your comments. Uh, let me see. Spirits will not pay you a property tax or fuel or get me <laughs> to ADR. What's ADR? Paul, what's ADR? Is she still there? I think we lost. Oh, there she is. In the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is ADR? What's ADR? I don't know if she can hear you. I see some colorful sheets. Oh uh, yeah, I think you lost her. She go. You come back home. Okay. I'm gonna look up a Google real quick. What's ADR? No, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Oh, I meant good, but I guess you can't go wrong with putting God first. Is that me talking? Oh. Oh, a hero speaks. What happened to Paula? She gone. That's my Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. Who's Paula Joan? Yeah, but I got um. I'm not on my Twitch. Uh, I think ADR may be uh, a not-for-profit organization called American Arbitration. Is that she talking about? American Arbitration Association. Is that what she means? AD, oh, 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 oh no, oh no, alternative dispute resolution. What is, is that? It? What she's saying? ADR is short for alternative dispute resolution. I don't know, Paula. What's ADR? Uh, oh yeah, that's actually. I don't know. I got lost. I don't even know what ADR is. I was gone and trying to get lost. Yeah, and I can't see shit, so I didn't type nothing. I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Man, I got so I meant good, but I guess you can't go wrong with putting God first. Paula, did you, did you write that? No. No. That's hey, somebody else. Said. I didn't do anything. Paula was lost. No, was somebody's on my what? My my somebody's writing on my Twitch. It's not me. No, I think my wife. My, my wife may be playing close. around. Okay. And I'm on the Melon app, so all I can see is y'all. I can't type shit. That was interesting to me. Uh, I meant good, but oh well. Uh, yeah. So, oh, so did y'all? Did, did I ask it? Did I ask your question, Paul? Or did I don't did, know? I was gone. <laughs> I had to go and re get back in. I heard nothing. Oh Lord. Oh so, no! I did not hear the answer to my question. What's your question? 
How the hell do you get out of the weeds when you can't control shit? You ain't, you ain't none of that? No, I was, I got lost and had to come. I'm not techie. That's yeah, one of then, those physical issues. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 um, Renee gave, a, um, he gave the biblical one. He gave the biblical response. Okay, I heard most of that. Right, and now, now I said that, um, yeah. What did I say, Renee? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you were going more into, into the same, looking at it more practically, saying, you know, um, the practical application, you know, about, and then she made a comment about, well, how do I pay my bills and, um, right. And what I was saying is, the more you become like God, the more you will handle your life and live like God. So Jesus Christ is actually the ultimate. To heaven, God no, no, no. Taxes, man. Yeah, but you you pay your taxes, right? But but the more the more wisdom of God you have, you'll be able to manage and live your life better. God is giving our arms back, dude. I'm old. Falling apart. I've got degenerative disc, degenerative back, degenerative bone. Oh, oh, but now, now you're not. Like can I actually? You're not a Christian, are you? Yeah. Oh, you are a Christian. Okay, and you, yeah, and you, 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 you read and study the Bible regularly. I don't know about how regularly, but I study it and a lot of other religious texts. I'm not confined <laughs> to just the Bible because man wrote that. Do you think man wrote the Bible? So you you don't think you don't think the Bible. Okay, so but you're saying so you you, you don't but, but but I'm just saying you don't believe that the Bible per se is the inspired word of God. You don't believe that. And and I'm not judging, I'm just saying that how you feel. Man interpreted it as best as he could, but there was this lovely little council that got together and decided what was gonna go in it and what wasn't. And that happened about 300 AD, and some of the shit, pick one, Joshua, first Joshua, second Joshua, you can't have it both ways, it either happened A, or it happened B, pick one, they couldn't okay. make up their mind to put them both in. Okay, um, <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yes. Or maybe, and I'm, if you, um, if you saw a hot rod vehicle, and it had a Lamborghini chassis on it, right? But then an engineer told you, that's really not a Lamborghini, that's a Ferrari. But you said, but the body is a Lamborghini. How would you, what is the best way to find out what it really is? I don't know, because I don't like either one. If it ain't no, a Jeep. No, minus that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what? You wouldn't know the difference, would you? So if you wanted to know, who would you go to? Who would you go to? The car expert. I'd go to my man. Exactly. The you would go to the designers of the car. Well, God right? This. I fucked it up. And God is making see, pay for see, it. See. <laughs> no, I'm challenging. I'm challenging you to say that Christianity, it, it, it's a misunderstanding that the council's picked what books to put in and leave out. That's no, actually not that. Uh, no, that's an actual council. Right. It was a council, but what people need to understand is they went by what okay. books were no, generally yeah. believed on at the time. So they went it's not by a, whatever was politically in No. The see, no, yes. see. No, see. My, I guess what I'm saying to you is if you if you're gonna, then, let me ask you a question. If you don't believe. Hello? Christianity on. Hello? Oh, what happened? No, Hello? That's what happened? Break it up. Audition. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. but either way, though, that still doesn't solve the no. how do you deal with a body that is aging right. and no longer allowing you to function. Right. So, and I'm you telling said, you that Christ is still the answer. Christ is still the answer. All of man's No, 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 no. If, if it's um, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Christ is the answer. However, 
in in this in this realm of existence while Christ mm-hmm. still is the answer we still experience stuff I mean I, because, I like, 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 like what she said some, certain things you do reap what you sow physically and mm-hmm. even you reap what you sow physically mm-hmm. if you come to the knowledge of Christ you still ain't going to experience that pain and you still gonna experience that pain and you're gonna have to deal with it and cope with it. So therefore, while you're dealing, you cope with it. You want things that you want different. I wanna eat. Right. I wanna buy fuel. Right. Right. <laughs> I bet right, right. So you know, like like Pastor say, if not practical, it's not spiritual. So so it's like when you if you're ministering, you witness to somebody try to get them to, to roll to something, okay, that's one thing. Mm-hmm. But then but they're still hungry. And they need a place mm-hmm. to stay. Mm-hmm. And, and then, and then yeah, and they, they either get, they get hungry to get a place to stay, and then they still, then they need teaching. And then some don't have access to teaching, but now everybody get access to teaching. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to learn. And then you get, and, and I'm with you, you know, I believe that the Bible is inspired with God. However, um, most of it. Uh, no, all of it. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. We, we agree to disagree. But uh, and see, and you leave just like that. See how sweet that was. I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah, God see, hey. slaves in the Bible. No, that? I'm not okay with that either. See, and that's what you study. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you said study show yourself. He said white people could own slaves, and that's bullshit. White people wrote that. <laughs> There's He's nowhere in the Bible. In the white God, people in the Bible, Bible. In the Bible it says white people it, could own slaves. No, they you. Yes, it does. I've read the Bible a number of times. Um, for all the people, there is people, nowhere in the Bible that white people can own. pull things out of context so they can use it to manipulate people. They can do that way. Well, those words were still in there. Uh, However, they twist them as on. Right, yeah. All hearts and minds clear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Well, it all makes good. sense now, but go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, 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 t- uh, I'm going to just read these texts and tell them to hear these. Ain't nobody else talking. All they do is come on. They can use their voice. Uh, <laughs> uh, control. Let's see. Uh, I mean, uh, that's me talking. Philip say, hey, Paul, regarding all the issues in my life. Are issues I can't control. Start with what you can control first. Think about what the alcoholics say. That's good. I don't know what the alcoholics say, but yeah, he should have stated. He should. He should have stated that. I, I think he, they said. I think they admit that they are an alcoholic. They say, "My name is so and so, and I am an alcoholic." Like they own the. Uh, isn't that what they say in the alcohol? I, I own all the bullshit with my body. God wants me not. She owns it. Now she. Day, now, and I didn't okay. now she owns it. Now she owns all the all the dumb stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm paying for my own. Yeah, 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 she owns it, so she. she yeah, it's yeah. my problem. Right, all right. T- Tito said, "God broke it up." God broke it up. God is oh. good, man. I love God. I love Jesus. No, 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 that's when it. That's when it went off. God broke it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm dead. Phil, Phil said, "Hey, Paul, we got. Oh, we already did that." Phil, I don't. Philip, I don't think Paul can see your comments right now because right. All right. I, yeah. So I okay. So now, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, all right. Uh, so how do you learn acceptance? Start doing little by little. I don't want to accept being an invalid. Did you not invalid? Don't I accept ain't that. Far from it right now. I'm but I, but, but, in yeah, but you're not invalid. I ain't able to pay my bills with a real job. But you still not in it. Well, you, can you, you can you walk in and everything? Depends you can walk on the day. Depends yeah. on the Depends day. On the day. Oh, okay. You said what? You- I went three weeks where I didn't sleep three hours just because of pinched nerves that my arms felt like they were tied to a Brazilian anthill. I was losing my mind. And then I went camping. I don't know what the hell I did to my neck, but it fixed it and went somewhere else. Now I need two surgeries on my right arm. My left arm is going. I'm an artist. I work with my hands. I need my hands. I'm having issues accepting some shit. Me and God are fine. I love the man. He ain't gonna fix my arms, but no miracle though when I'm falling apart. This is just age and 
to go back how I got this way. I had to go take a drive one day to help an ex-husband. God literally screaming in my ear for an hour. Don't, 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 don't go. Something bad's going to happen. Begging him the whole time. Watch over me. Watch over me. So I get where I'm supposed to be. Thank you, Jesus. You watched over me. You drive. Five minutes later, we were hit by a car. God told me, literally, do not fucking go. I went anyway, and I'm paying for that. But I still need my arms and my hands, man. I How can you say those words exactly? God told me, do not freaking go. Okay, so he see. yelled it in my ear over and over to the point I was terrified. And I knew it was him telling me it ain't the first time. No, I, I did I, it. I, I, I thought the expertise. I don't think he said the, the F word. In my ears, God's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> God's going to me however he can get through. <laughs> That's good. Get the point across, huh? Uh huh. God knows exactly what to tell Paul when they make Paul was scared, and it worked. But I still had no choice because that man helped pay the bill. I went to get him instead of leaving him on the side of the road. And I was very, very grateful. God did answer my prayer. He did watch over me. I'm not dead. However, one second, I'm perfectly fine on the back of a bike. The next second, I'm in an ambulance. If God was going to take me, it would have been perfect just going along. Boom, hey, how'd I get here? Would have been awesome. He made me live. <laughs> <laughs> and, this Phil, and this is what Phil said. What, what I'm talking about is the thing they said about God giving me the strength to change what I can and accept the things I cannot change and know the difference. Yeah, that acceptance part is a problem for me. I'm all about changing shit. God knows there's nobody on the planet more persistent than I am. But if you can't change, it's not happening. But you just, all you can do is accept what you are. You say you're invalid, but you're not invalid. No, and I'm not trying to accept just sitting around not using my arms and waiting to die either. Right. So, how do you do <laughs> so you... it all work? <laughs> What's your name? Without being depressed as shit. <laughs> I, I'm referring, like I said earlier, <laughs> I'm referring to you. I, I can't, you know, you're that cool with them. I, I, I don't even know that. <laughs> Yes, I, I've well, had honestly, it God is the only thing that's gotten me this far because I have faith that it will get better. That whatever I'm going through, I'm supposed to learn from. I'm okay with all of that. I'm I'm good going to heaven when it's my time. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I kill myself, but I got that's no good. fear of that. I have a fear of being forced to exist in a manner that sucks just there's no other words sitting here wanting to get up wanting to work i'm a workaholic and not physically being able to is taxing everything in my brain she's an artist mm -hmm. I'm art, what, what kind of artist a tattoo artist uh -uh. uh mixed media sculpture art started out with uh, paint, not, yeah, good stuff too. i paint but i don't do paintings I'll show you my badass dragon skull I'm working on now. <laughs> did you finish uh -huh. the did you finish the um did you redo the um the tape? It's done, but I am not selling it yet. Well you made it killing you could get that to the furniture market. Yeah, that's the problem. It's eight feet tall and I have a Jeep that I just put fifteen hundred dollars into and they no longer make drive shafts for the Jeep that my year is. So every trip a half a mile down the road to the store to get food, I don't know if I'm going to make it home, much less put an eight foot table in the back of and make it to town with no license and no gas. <coughs> you, you put $1,500 into the Jeep? Yes. On my credit cards. And they still can't actually fix it because they do not make drive shafts for my Jeep anymore. They've been discontinued. They I've up. had mechanics looking for, what, a month now? They straightened it, they turned around, it will vibrate to high hell going half a mile down the road. Much less trying to get three hours up the road to a doctor's appointment or anything else. And we ain't even going there because 
they still don't know if I have cancer or not. They managed to do a whole biopsy and not get any skin cells on a slide. How do you do that? They got their damn doctor's license down in Barbados or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> hey, um, Tito asks, can, can, Tito asks, can you still do art? Yeah, I'm trying. What I used to be able to get done in a day takes me a week or a month now, which again affects your income. It depends on the day, whether I can use my hands, my legs, any of it. Yeah, and I what? Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Phil said, what about taking an Uber? I live in Cedar Island. I know that anybody in the real world does not know where the hell I'm at. I am 50 miles from the closest town with a gas station and grocery store. It's a hundred dollar cab ride, one way. You do a Peter Just Pan live it? Me up. You have. Um, Peter Pan live it. That's what she live it. I live beyond fucking Neverland, man. I can't where never never lives. <laughs> Nobody is never fucking here. That's why I live here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 She's <laughs> like, you off, you off the grid. Yeah. I am way off the grid. I mean, in Hurricane Florida, it's for 12 days with no electricity, no water, nothing. Biblical times. You actually get used to it after three or four days, minus the water deal, because the cold showers up at the firehouse. So. <laughs> oh, no, man. If it, if it feels <laughs> Do that. Yeah. I? Phil said, uh, he said, I did come and pick you up. <laughs> I think Somebody's going to have to come pick me up. Santa Claus needs to come with his little shit. That's about the only way I'm going to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Or you could just, well, like Phil says, <laughs> who, who, who was Phil that said it? You could just accept it? your fate. <laughs> which one? He said, what? Yeah, then you just accept it. <laughs> Well, he's and didn't I see that? Who's that? Keto. What am I saying? Just you know, accept you know where you are. Well, no. I, I see that. No, he said um, to be able to accept the things you can't change. And yeah, that's yeah. Change things you can do. Death. In my case, I can't accept that. Right. No, I'm okay except, with it when it happens, but I ain't trying to sit here and starve to death waiting for it to happen. That's right. Keep on moving. I agree. I, so that's what I'm trying. How do you get past the the depression and the frustration that you cannot control? Have you? Because I, 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 is have, not an option. Have you? I, have you been doing the meditation I gave you? Yes. Not every day, but yes. Started. Some days I've decided drinking is actually pretty all right. No, it's not. But physically, it feels a lot damn better. There's nothing. You, you gave her meditations, but like Buddhist meditations? No. Oh. No. <laughs> no. What was it? Uh, music, calming thoughts, right? Focusing. Right. Oh, I'm and going home um, like that. No. Um, no. no, no, no. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> 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 No, it's not yeah. actually, like actually, it's, it's actually it's Christian meditation. That's who? Christian uh, meditation. Oh, okay. Oh. It's kind of like doing the rosary, but with soft, calming music to keep yeah. my, my herbs. Actually, it's, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You don't need to do Christian meditation. Look, look up on YouTube, Christian meditation. It gives you certain uh, scriptures that you go by. Um, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. It gives you a process of walk down. And you're, and you're a therapist. Can't you prescribe marijuana? Aren't no. you? Uh oh. Wait, 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 listen. wait, 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 for a minute, it does have oh. food and attitude, but it doesn't solve the problem. You just okay. a little bit. Ah, uh, it's a form of escape. Okay, I got you. Yeah, that and the music and the Christian thing is how I get through a day, but it ain't giving me my arms back. <laughs> well, I'm looking at you. You're using your arms now. That's fine. Yeah. 
because I've been wearing an elbow brace and an arm brace on my hand all day. So did it, you why do you just keep it. wearing it? Huh? But you can't, can't work with it. You can't, you can't work drive with it. In it. You can't get to a doctor in it. I mean, you, you're moving your thumb good. Thumb to my and she's not an invalid. I mean, she's like, it, it, what is that? Is it's not all the time, but when it happens, she don't like it. <laughs> I need four surgeries at the moment. They're not going to fix themselves. If I use them, if I use them even a couple hours a day without the, all of the gear they've got me in, I can't wipe my ass for a week. I'm not having my grown ass kids come and wipe their mama's ass. I'm not doing it. Me and God will meet and he can wipe my ass before I let my grown sons come back over here and live. Hey, you took care of them. Now it's time for them to take care of you. They don't know how I would be dead. One of them can't even feed himself. He's living in the room upstairs of some old lady's house. You know the child I'm talking about. <laughs> I wish that was an option because honestly, when he came out of jail two years ago, that was the plan. I bought him a motorcycle. I helped him get a job. I'm still paying for the motorcycle and I threw him out a year ago. Wow. Not an option. Um. <laughs> He can't take care of himself. <laughs> wow, okay. All right. Um, okay. Get me through to the God side. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm ready whenever he wants to take me, and I will smoke my little heart out until he's ready. It's just <laughs> sitting here waiting. That's <laughs> 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 Well, all righty then. Uh, all right, I, I get um. I'm gonna wrap up, y'all. This is <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay. This is why but, I shouldn't come on. Somebody oh no, like no, that. this is why you should come on. Shit ain't legal, man. What's that? Well, this <laughs> is North Carolina. Ain't shit legal here. Well, you off the grid. Ain't nobody come get you. Uh, yeah, you just <laughs> you just have CBD. Sure. <laughs> you said yeah, CBD? Uh, CBD, CBD oil. Oh, yeah, that's all they got all that down here. I mean, all down Battleground, every time, everywhere you look up is a CBD store. What's CBD? It's the, what is it? Carabinoids. It's the it's, other it's shit. It's, pot. It's, it's not illegal. Yeah, right. It's like a, a stem of, of marijuana that's not illegal. Oh, it's like a, an alternative to marijuana? Well, actually, no, actually, it's, it's the no. other ingredient. Oh, the ingredients that actually has CBD healing agents. And CBD. And help. Oh, well. THC is illegal. CBD is the calming shit, but that chemical is not illegal. Yeah, but it actually helps with pain. Yeah, it has good, yeah, it has good um, anxiety. anxiety. It has good uh, a health benefits. It really does. It's, it's, it's yeah, research it does. Back, I mean, it's research back and behind it. And it's illegal eventually, the rest of it. But, yeah, you know, it's got different forms of it. You know. I'm saving my ass. Then I'll be out of a job when they do. <laughs> now you, you, now you, call sober, you call sober and start selling that. <laughs> God, I <don't> need something. <laughs> you have to put up with me long. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm stick off and uh, I'm going I'm, I'm to end up, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Good night. God bless. Good night. Good bless. Dreams to all of y'all. Okay. I got to figure out how to get out of here now. <laughs> okay. God bless. God bless. Give your life to Jesus. No, I'm just kidding. You wrote, I'm, I'm going to edit this tomorrow. You wrote. I'm going to edit this tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, not, actually, it's actually true. But okay, but anyway. All right. So uh, you said you're going to edit the All right, I'm, you, um, you did that on purpose. No, I'm just kidding. All right. All right. All right, man. You have a good night. All right. <laughs> hey, Jordan, man. Jordan, women. This is your Jordan with Dr. D. I hope you enjoyed the, the show tonight. It's very lively, I think. And uh, if you find any value in this content, please go ahead. First, give me, give me a like. Give me two thumbs up. And uh, help me help you by clicking the likes and thumbs up and subscribing and sharing uh, the content 
And um, because when you do that, you help the algorithm to reach out and get different artists and help other people out. And we make a better tomorrow, today. So, (laughs) good night. Uh, So, so with that being said, I I will be doing the edit tomorrow. And um, and you should be able to see uh, the left and right hand side at Purpose purpose driven um, playlist as well as emotion paid playlist and so click those and you have much more material that you can digest and ingest uh, and so it can help you get beyond your first move if, if you need anything else click down below I do have a practice where I do I do one on ones and uh, I can help you get beyond your first if you need a little bit more than the videos and and I'm soon to start a, a private Facebook group but if you need a little bit more just click down we'll talk uh, off the grid and um, see what we can work out. And also, I have a podcast. Um, that this week I've been kind of slow on this, but I will be putting um more content on that. That's the Hero's Journey with Doctor D, the podcast dot com. You'll see a link down there as well. So, with that being said, if if you remember anything else from uh, from the show tonight, remember this: you are important. And every day you get up vertical, make it your goal in life to always move forward. Always, always, always move forward. And never, ever, ever, ever look or move backwards. This is a hero's journey with Dr. D. And we are